Hi kids! What it is, what it isn't, what it may be, whatever. I have the drawer open so I feel like I should do this. Fuck it, I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> hey kids! I'm in such a mood today. I'm in a cheesy mood that's worth sharing with you guys though. Fuck it. I'm in one of those like just... Mm -mm. And if you know what I mean by just me doing that then... We're on the same page, thankfully. <laughs> I literally have no privacy. I have a bulldog right underneath me because why? Because I have a cheeseburger in close proximity to me. Proximity to me as well. <laughs> oh, baby Jesus. Have you guys ever eaten at Freddy's? Their fries are insane. Insanely delightful. Holy guacamole. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my two month update of my Project Pan, aka Project Use It All Up, aka Project Finish What You Started. If you bought it, you should use it. Let's get started. I actually went back and I watched a little bit of my last video, which was the beginning of February, and I have my computer in front of me that, I kid you not, I have a little notepad open that has everything that I initially started with in my first video listed out and I keep moving it around to different categories and I put what categories I randomly made up on the spot last month which I can tell by watching that video that's literally what I did I have those written out here and I'm even laughing at myself 30 days ago of the categories that I made because I'm like funny funny girl you is use a very funny funny girl Okay, so first of all, I want to start off by adding something. So I recently bought these two face masks from Lush. They are delightful and actually I haven't used the coffee one. I've just huffed it a lot because it smells good. It literally just smells like mm, coffee, <laughs> like coffee ice cream. You know what I mean? Like fresh coffee loses its smell after a little while, but anyway. Long story short. And then this one's the Mask of Magnaminty. Mag Magnaminty? I will never say that correctly. Hopefully, I will one day. But they both have expiration dates on them for the beginning and the middle of May. So by default, I'm adding these into my project pan because they have an expiration date that's, you know, a good 60 to 75 days away from where we are right now. So I feel like that's important to throw out there. I think last month I also included um, the uh, sample perfume pieces. If you watched my February favorites, if you hear that noise, that is one of my dogs just wiling out. They like to do that. They think they're showstoppers and they're not. I am. Anyway, oh, that noise makes me lose track of what I was talking about. Oh, my little perfume sample. So I've been going through a lot of those and if you watched my favorites video I posted a few days ago for February, I have some that I really like and some that I'm just like, cut the tape, not doing it. And there's really there's some I haven't even tried yet. So I'm continuing to do that as well. I have taken the ones out that I don't like. I just can't do it. And I'm throwing them away. So I'm excited about that. Without further ado, five minutes into this video, let me tell you the categories that we're going to play with and let's get into this. Spoiler alert, I have some empties this time. Progress is being made, you guys, and I'm so excited because this is literally a use it up, finish what you started, and yes, I'm proud of myself, you know. I'm allowed to pat myself on the back every once in a while, right? Okay, so the four categories that I created last time was stuff I haven't touched at all, which we will touch on, stuff I haven't touched for a reason, which I think is my most favorite category because it's the same category as what I just said, but with an excuse implanted into it. So that's going to be stuff I haven't touched at all. Stuff I've managed to put into rotation, how often I'm using it is our number two category. And then stuff I've used up or stuff I'm not using anymore for a reason, similar to like perfume samples. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna force myself to continue to use it. So where should we start? Where should we start? Ugh, I have literally everything sitting right here. 
that I have either used or not used and then my little category of things that I have used over here. I will start off by saying last month I had the Laneige water clay mask. I have completely used that up and I've thrown it away. So it's not in my little pile of empties that I've actually managed to hold on to. Remember last month I was like, I'm not keeping any empties because I'm not that person. 30 days later, look at me. Look at me. Okay. I have here four pencils. This is my black coal pencil by Melt. I have been using this not as often as I need to and embarrassingly I've been reaching for other coal pencils. Shame, shame. Pat McGrath lipstick, haven't touched it. It's half empty and I need to use it. Haven't touched it. In fact, there's a, a lip in my purse that I've been constantly using so much lately and I don't know why. Last night, I was trolling the internet looking at lip liners and lip liner swatches and here I have two from my project pan that I have not bothered to put fingers on. I deserve that. I deserve to thump myself on the face for that. These are two primers, two blurring primers specifically. The Laneige Mini Pore Blur Perfector, I haven't used it, haven't touched it. I'm, I filmed a, uh, a foundation or a what I would call like a complexion uh, get ready with me video where I actually did break into this Tusha Claw Blur Primer. Y'all my nose is running. God damn it. Uh, where I did start using this. So we're about a quarter use and still have the rest to go. And I'm looking at it like man this is going to be an uphill struggle. This is a sample size. The struggle. What the hell am I talking about a struggle? But I did start using it. That's that's all that matters, right? I gotta get my hundred points worth, I guess. I don't know. This is almost empty. This probably has two uses left out of it. This is my MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance, the pink version. And then this, I feel like this has a little bit more in it because of the pump assembly at the top. Otherwise, like when I hold it, this half is very light. This is very heavy. So I know it's one of those like the mechanism inside is like an elevator where it rises up so I'd say that they both have a combined total of five to six uses left period and like and that's it so I'm doing good with those something I haven't used is this rose face mask and you know because I have literally just purchased more masks there's a reason why I haven't touched that fail that's okay. This is a really good mask. I feel like I have another one of these floating around somewhere. I'm sure I do. To me, this is like relaxation in a container. So these two guys, this, I circled back and mentioned that this foundation stick by Lancome will expire in May. I have been making progress on it, but not enough. I wore this one, this is my Makeup Forever one, um, just a few days ago, and I kid you not, when I looked in the mirror and I was like checking myself, see there's not that much of that either, it takes a while to go through this thing, uh, I could like touch certain areas, like, and I mean like this, or like basic things like if I do this, and you could see that textural change, like that movement of the foundation on the face with this, and it really bugged me, so... I'm really finding it hard to want to use these beep bopping stick foundations lately so I have been using them I'd say throughout the entire month of February they each have gotten maybe five wears and uh, five wears I'm not gonna lie to you between both of those guys what I have been using oddly enough is my makeup forever liquid which I should put in this project pan because I'd be like winner winner and all over the damn place with that one so so lovely right i have been using that because to me it's a little bit more foolproof fail safe okay so moving on i haven't been using this like i need to am i sticking to categories oh, guys i'm a terrible person 
Uh, every once in a while I've been playing with this. I'd say in the month of February I've used this twice. This is that bite stick. This is what's going to bite stick bite me in the ass towards the end of the year because not only is it hard to use lipstick up, but this is this is something I'm wanting to use like as an eyeshadow base. What what logic am I rocking with today? You're in those days where you literally are getting on your own nerves with some of the things that you do. So I've um, been downloading books lately. So I like Audible. If you don't know what Audible is, it's an app from Amazon where it basically just reads books to you and it has the best, deepest dictionary, not dictionary, glossary, uh, no. Um, it has the best assortment and selection of books out there, no matter what the subject category is. And it's just really enjoyable to be able to look at different things. I can't sit down and focus on reading sometimes. I'm always moving around. So if I can have something playing while I'm moving around, doing things in the house, then awesome. Especially driving in the car. So anyway, I've been listening to uh, self-improvement books, aka self-help books. <laughs> lately and it really changes your mindset. It helps you kick yourself in the butt in the way that you want to because we can really be our our worst critics sometimes and beat ourselves up so much in our own heads that if who we were in our minds was an actual person, we would want really we wouldn't want that person around. Um, and I do say that kind of uh, quoting another YouTuber that was talking about that yesterday that made me kind of kick myself in the butt and download a few books last night and this morning. <sighs> Long story short, let's keep going. So these two guys, this I mentioned last time, I'm sitting up too high. Okay, let me calm down. Let me scoot in a little bit. So this I mentioned last time, it pills up on the skin where you have to wait way too long for it to dry. And I don't think it's, you know, whatever kind of moisture I'm doing, even when I put an oil on on top, it still feels like it's pilling. So this also has the expiration date of May. It There's not a lot in here, but I'm finding myself really hard to force myself to use certain things that I'm not totally in love with anymore. I really like the Tarte Knockout, the Tingling, uh, as opposed to this. I don't know. So I, I'm wholeheartedly saying that in March and April I need to give this a lot more attention than my uh, Tarte, but I haven't been using this. I haven't. Terrible person. This, I've been changing up the way I have been using it, and I have been using it, so I am proud of that. This is the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. Do you see how, how fast I said that? This is very silicone-y, and I've actually been using this in the morning as a part of my morning routine. I'll let this kind of set in before I moisturize my face so it kind of absorbs a little bit and then continue on with my day as opposed to making sure I integrate it into my nighttime routine. And I've been getting a lot more use out of it that way and I feel like I'm, I don't want to say seeing improvements, but I'm noticing a little bit more of a healthy look throughout the day with my skin. And it is more of a moisturize, deep moisturizing and collagen promoting um, skincare products. So, those elements of what it's supposed to do, I feel like I'm kind of seeing those benefits of. So, I have been using this. How much of it I've been using? I'd say steady three times a week on average, being that, you know, for the last week and a half, two weeks, I've been using it a lot more, um, almost on a daily basis. So, there's that magic. Concealers. This one's ridiculous. I have some of those like from the container store, those itty bitty little spatulas to get in here when I need to. So I look forward to that mission. And these two guys, I have yet to see like a peek through the wall when they're like constantly standing upwards. So, and I'm fully aware it's sharp, tart, tart shape tape has a 
Bebop more product than a sh not load of other things, but I guess it's 0.338 ounces. This is 0 0.22. 0 0.18. Girl. I genuinely, so this, I love this. I absolutely love this. But for the amount of product that you get in here, and this is $32, this is $27. Girl, I am always like, uh -uh, let, let's, let's find something else. Let's find a high road. So I have been using all of these in rotation constantly. Am I falling out of love with some of them? Yes. Tarte, as well as the NARS, they're both very, very drying in my opinion. Super, super drying. Hi, pumpkin. No burgers for you, boo. I uh, got the MAC water weight uh, concealer. This is bomb. Like, this is the shit right here. This is what I have on today. I'm like so next level impressed with this that it just takes me back to my MAC days, to be honest with you. Like, okay, that's enough sidebar conversation of that. So, you see how I feel about concealers? These. Our mascaras I've been using, I'm very tempted to get rid of this Lancome Defensils mascara. One, it's not the easiest to remove. I feel like I can go through my entire nighttime routine and really get everything off and wake up with mascara on my pillowcase. And oh god, it drives me batshit crazy because I don't like falling asleep with something on my face. I don't like feeling, you know, stuff on my face and to know that like this is still lingering it's like do you have to let it linger do, do you have to do, do you have to do you have to let it linger this I have been pulling out a little bit more this is that super duper did I show you what color this was last time like look the sticker and the mascara are one in the same almost <laughs> As well as this is just a dark mascara. This has enough product in it that's great for traveling, and it's a dark enough red to where it's just mascara. You can't really tell, to be extremely honest with you, that it's not black unless you like. And nobody's doing that to me, obviously. I be <laughs> color pop. I have not been wearing a lot of super shimmery things lately on my eyeballs. I mean, what I have, I've been playing through a couple of different palettes. Who am I kidding? I don't have the camera quality for you to really see what I'm talking about. I should for the price of the camera. But this, I kind of feel like when I blink, it gets all over my under eye area. So I think I've just been kind of hesitant to pull it out or there's other things that I've been playing with that just I've gotten sidetracked so haven't touched it I don't know I'm sitting here still staring at because it it's really pretty that's why because this is a beautiful beautiful color but um yeah another problem another problem I haven't been solving the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder I have been using this and it is I want to say about two-thirds empty. I've been taking this little container itself as my only powder, which is very hard because I love this. Uh, when I travel, and I've been traveling a lot lately, and when I say traveling, like I've been doing uh, road trips back and forth almost once a week, twice a week, uh, to New Orleans and back from Houston, and that's, that's eight hours. That's, that's worth flying. Uh, this is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I love this. I haven't hit pan on it yet, but when I look at it, it's got a significant dip. So I feel like I feel like she's a coming. Look how you can see it on my finger. I barely touched it. I love this. I really don't want to hit pan on it because I want it to last forever because it was expensive. Well, I'm doing good. My pout mud. I have not been using this this month. I've really been digging into the um, lip mask by Laneige, and I also have this is something that I'm fairly addicted to. This is by Fresh Beauty, the uh, lip caramel. If you guys have not tried this, 
it is just it's right up there with I'm willing to eat it kind of cosmetic ventures so uh, this has a significant dip in it it just needs to be one of those things that it's the only hydrator that I throw in my bag when I'm traveling or whatever the stitch may be but the ball is just it's so big that I don't want to throw it in my purse I've totally been there with it being the only thing in my purse and it just it's like a space taker it taken the space away and I don't want that you guys know what this is. This is that Laura Mercier bronzer. Let me beat this dead horse a little bit. Like, we're almost completely flat, and I don't know what I'm doing thinking I'm gonna pan a baked bronzer. This thing is large and charged, and I have no idea when I'm ever gonna get to the bottom of it. And I, I hate it because I'm always looking at, at bronzers on Ulta and Sephora all the time, and even like Cosbar website or God, everywhere, and I'm just, I resist buying bronzers because I have, s I have a decent assortment, we'll just say that very nicely. And it's not easy to pan a bronzer, like, I have a butter bronzer, and people laugh at themselves when they're like, oh god, I don't know, I think I'm gonna hit pan, oh my god, no I'm not. Mine still has waves in it, and I literally use that thing all the time. Another hard hitter. <laughs> this is my Tarte Blush in Sensual. Uh, if you've seen some of the videos, I feel very, like, speedy conversation and, like, whipping through this. Like, I need to just slow down my conversation and breathe, but I, I'm not going to. Um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I've got a new blush by Charlotte Tilbury, the nipple blush. You see why I say that? Okay. As well as the diamond blush Natasha Denona palette. And um, I've really been playing with between the two of those quite often. So I have not been using this that much, but it's still one of those like on basic days, I will use this out, pull this, I'll, I'll pull this out and use it because realistically it's one of those like never go wrong, always does you right when you want it to kind of a thing. Um, because I've been using my Laura Mercier blush so bronzer so much, I've been pulling this out back and forth, and I've actually gone through all three of these, including the blush. Um, but I've been using this a decent amount this month, too. So, when in my head I'm like, this is literally all I'm using, can I please just use something else today? I've been going back to this. Obviously, I should. Um, between this and the butter bronzer. But a lot this month, I've been trying to swap out products constantly just to have a healthy rotation of things in my collection. I feel like that is the right thing to do with makeup, is to use it. Last three over here before we get really interesting. My Lancer Cream, half gone. I've been using this at night as like the thick moisturizer with an oil mix. I've been using this guy, the Youth to the People Kale and spinach, green tea, hyaluronic acid, age prevention, moisture cream. Quite often, I use this during the day because really I just want to use it up. It's not, it's not anything to write home about. I hate saying things like that about good quality products. It smells like I'm about to drink a green smoothie every time I open this jar, which I, I'm a chubby girl. I have mixed feelings about that to begin with. This is. The Laneige Lip Mask. I'd say that this is maybe at the halfway mark right now. Oh my god, so we've gotten through that pile. Let's talk about some empty stuff. So we already mentioned the Water Clay Mask. This is another one by Bosha. This is the uh, charcoal, charcoal Pore Pudding Mask. Would I repurchase this? No. It was nice, but it's okay. So I have a trash can right beneath me. We're just gonna go there. This this has one use left, and for the amount of makeup I have on today, because I'm filming, I'm going to use the rest of it today. So it's gonna go back onto the rim of the bathtub, and we're gonna say la vie. It. This is a charcoal makeup melter. Would I repurchase this? Yes, because I think a makeup removing balm is really nice to have and to use. It realistically gets gets sh skittles done. And so I, 
probably by the time we do this project pan next month, I probably will rebuy that. If I don't use a lot of the other makeup removing products that I have in the meantime, which I should. Okay, you guys, I have given it my all with this. I have tried it just as a body wash. I mentioned this in my favorites and my, my favorites and fails, the good, the bad, and the empties. Uh, a few times, I don't like this as a face wash. I don't like it as a body wash. To me, it's just a little too drying. I have not done a pH test on this yet, which I need to. And if you want to see the results of that, make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's the kind of stuff I usually post there. But I just want to get rid of this. So I think I'm going to do a pH test on it and get rid of it because I cannot handle wanting to use it. And it's one of those like, if it sucks that much, why am I forcing myself to use it? So there's that. Gleefully, I will say this is the Sephora brow pencil. This is the retractable Sephora brow pencil with a goofy ass little brush on the end of it. I liked this brush for a little while, but then when I was using a regular spoolie, I kind of reminded myself like, oh, that is crap. Um, I don't even do my eyebrows that often. I didn't do them today. I have, I don't know, decent-ish brows. But I somehow managed to force myself to use that motherfucker. So, you know, there's that. This is a Upward Lash Mascara by MAC. This is dried out. I've used this a few times and really I got it, got use out of it and that was its intended purpose and its intended purpose was served well. <laughs> baby steps, buddies. Baby steps. That's right. Baby steps. And that's it. I'm looking around like, I swear to God I forgot something, but I didn't because I had my list pulled up in front of me because I can't remember shit like that. So... I hope you guys like this project pan update. This is my 60 day, my two month update. I'm doing good. I'm staying mentally aware of everything that I need to continue to use. And I'm really proud that I'm not letting that much more newness into my collection. Um, because really when I think about, oh, I want to get a new primer. I want to get a new this. I want to get a new that. My instant reminding thought is I have, I have, I have this many, you know, <laughs> And I really put myself on hold and kind of say, you know, it, it'll it still be around. Put it on your wish list. Put it in your little faves or your loves list. You'll figure it out. You'll be fine. And I also want to just say, this is .30 ounces for $23. $32. Half the amount of product. I need to throw this away. I really do because I think this is really kind of taking my heart over and if I have a March Favorites and this is in it, you'll know why. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you as well as I hope you look forward to seeing me. Without further ado, see you next time guys. Bye!